Hello, it's week 17 and this week we are going to master the bullion knot. I did some a couple of weeks ago when I thought I might do this earlier in the project and I didn't because as you can see they look like weird carrots but that's okay because I have practiced on my scrappy hoop and I think I worked out what it is that I was doing wrong so they're looking a bit better now and it's not that I wanted them to be perfect because I don't I mean my herringbone was far from perfect um, I just wanted to be able to give you some more tips so let's use this lovely blue thread I've got three strands like normal and I've tied a little knot in the end so basically what you're going to do first of all is come up through your fabric now if you're right-handed you need to come up on the right first. If you're left-handed, come up on the left first. Um, I did it the other way around. I came up on the left, even though I'm right-handed the first time I did it, and I really think that had an impact on it. So just think about um, which way you need to do it, okay? So you're gonna make a stitch, but not go all the way through. We're just gonna hold on to that loop. So use your thumb. Um, I'm doing it at the edge of the hoop here, which makes it um, a little bit easier, although I'm gonna have to watch out for the the screw of the top of the hoop there. So then you're going to go back to where you originally came up, push your needle up through the same hole, not all the way, I've left about a centimetre on the end just so I can hold it, and then we're going to wrap the thread around a few times, I say a few times, I aim for roughly about ten, something like that, somewhere around there, I don't know how many that was, it doesn't matter. Um, what we want to do is make sure that the amount of thread reaches the other side where we um, finish that stitch, okay? Now, the most difficult thing about these is the tension, okay? So you might find you've done it a little bit tight. If you have, don't worry, just undo it and go back to that first stage, okay, where you um, start wrapping again after you've got the um, thread through. So you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm pulling on this end of fabric and trying to fabric on this end of thread even trying to keep it nice and tight and I'm just using my needle or you can use your finger or your thumb if you'd rather to push those stitches all along and then when you're happy with the positioning go back down through that hole at the other side and there you go <laughs> I say it there you go as if that was easy I'm not gonna lie they're not easy until you get used to the tension they're going to be a little bit tricky but try and power on through so don't do them if you're feeling too tired. Um, if you need a cup of tea or something stronger, whatever your tipple is, you know, do it. Um, you know, you can always come back to them and keep coming back to them. Um, I left several weeks between and moved into my studio and then came back to it and I was like, right, I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, so please don't worry if you don't get these first time. They're really tricky at first. So again, I'm just coming back through, and I've made that first stitch, I've got the loop, I'm just holding on to the end of the needle there, okay, so I'm just going to show you another one here. So I'm going to wrap it round, you don't, you don't want it too loose, but you don't want it so tight that you can't pull your needle through, so until you've kind of got the feel for that, that's the, really, really the trickiest bit at this stage. Put it down on a flat surface, try and keep that end tight. You might just need to give it a wiggle. Um, I did stupidly put hand cream on for filming this because my hands are still in a right old state and I wanted them to look slightly better, but don't put hand cream on before you do these. <laughs> That's another top tip because it isn't going to work. Okay, a bit slippy. So I'm just pulling that now. We've got the needle through. Just using my thumb there to just pull, push them, pull them along, push them along. You can see from the side there's the... Um, there's that last stitch there. I mean, when you can get them to work, they're really cool. Um, it's also known as caterpillar stitch, and you can kind of see why they do look like little caterpillars. Um, get that last stitch on there, kind of nice and secure, as close to the end, try and get in the same hole um, as that side, okay. Right, I'll just tie off at the back here, nice and gently. We'll tie that double knot and then we'll just trim any excess. I'm just going to check that I've got that nice and tight there. There we go. And that's it. The bullion knot. Woohoo! 
Hooray! Keep going with it. You've got this. You can do it. You can always come back to it if you need to. Um, as I said, I did mine on my scrappy hoop. So if you want to have a go on a different hoop first, then please feel free to do that and let me know how you get on.